I suffered from undiagnosed anxiety um, a lot when I was like transitioning into middle school. Like my parents didn't know what it was. I didn't know what it was. But like I would have like many episodes. Yes, we are back, right? We are back. Back with another interview. We've said it before, but this we is... We love them. Yes, this is our favorite <laughs> part of the channel so far. We love doing reactions, but we love doing these interviews and giving yeah. ARMY a moment to and shine. It's so awesome that we get more and more people that are willing to do this. Yeah. So, yeah, we, we still have to find people, of course. The idea, we love the idea, but we still have to have people to interview. But well, we love these interviews. Fortunately, we have them. <laughs> and today, what interview do we have today? Today, we have Mary from Texas, USA, and she will share her story and how BTS influenced her life. And if you like these kinds of interviews, then just subscribe to the channel right now and hit that bell notification. So you won't miss out on any of our videos, right? Yes. Well, let's go. And I saw Mary already in the screen and she was like, when Tim lit the bell, she was like, oh, <laughs> that was really funny actually. But yeah. look, Mary, you're waiting at the other end. Here comes Mary. Hi, I'm Mary. I'm 17 years old. I am from Texas, USA. I'm from Deep South. Um, I love BTS and Elton John, a few things to know about me. Mm. Um, I got into BTS uh, around 2016 uh, with their Blood, Sweat and Tears era. I iconic. Um, but yeah, that's... That's, that's my, my life is BTS. <laughs> that, but that is the same when, the same song that we got into BTS with. Yeah, honestly, yeah, like a lot of people, yeah. yes, a lot of people have gotten like into BTS because of Blood, Sweat, and Tears. Like iconic song. Like set was amazing. The production value was amazing. Like their outfits, them themselves, they were amazing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> honestly. Yes. Yes. But so what good. what drew you in with that song when you first saw or heard it? Oh my goodness, okay, so I, um, a person actually drew me into BTS, um, was Jimin, <laughs> when I first saw Jimin, Obviously. Uh, <laughs> I know, I was gonna say, like, Tim's already, like, out here, but no, Jimin, J when I first saw Jimin, like, in the silver hair, like, with that coat, like, mm -hmm. draped over, like, I was like, oh my gosh, first of all, like, the makeup, amazing like their look is amazing like i absolutely love them and jimin just like hooked you in so like he was actually like a big sole reason why i why i ended up looking at more bts content was because of jimin but after a week i established my bias and my bias is j-hope <laughs> mm, interesting yes i know uh jimin was my original bias for like a week and then I started noticing that I would drift a lot to J-Hope and like the rappers. And then I was just like, J-Hope just took over my soul. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, <laughs> my, no, my... But it happens. Awesome. Yeah, but that's nice, right? Yeah. I, I, yeah. Do, do you feel mad that she pushed aside Jimin so, so quickly? Mm, no. <laughs> no, of course not. <laughs> we really appreciate it and we love all of them. Yeah, no, don't. We love all of them. It just... Yeah. Yeah, like like everybody did, I think. Yeah. Um, okay, so you're here do it, sharing your story. So in what way did BTS help you or, or change your life? Um, I suffered from undiagnosed anxiety um, a lot when I was like transitioning into middle school. Like my parents didn't know what it was. I didn't know what it was. But like I would have like many episodes like things that you know seemed easy for everybody else like were hard for me because like i would get like many attacks and like i didn't know what they were like i would just go on but like as i went into high school like because i found out about bts in eighth grade which was in middle school mm -hmm. and when i was transitioning into high school like i got diagnosed like they told me like you know like if there's some things that you need to take easy like take a breather on like i did but i noticed that when I would have really big attacks, uh, like I told uh, Tim and Dennis, like I did go to the hospital like uh, twice, if I'm not mistaken, because I had really, really bad attacks. Like they had, like they hooked me up to machines, like 
I had to get my heart rate slowed down because it was going so fast. Mm. But um, I noticed that like when I was having a lot of big episodes that like I just needed to like really take a breather, like just calm down. Like I turned off my lights. I would light up a candle because like I do have lavender candles. Like they, a lot of people look at them and they're like, wow, they're such cute. Like they match my aesthetic of my room. But I do only buy lavender candles because they do like soothe you down. Mm -hmm. So like I have lavender lavender candles and I always like play BTS. Like just like hearing them or like you don't even need to understand what they're saying, but just mm -hmm. like the music. And like after you read a couple of lyrics, like me, I watch lyric videos like a hundred times. Mm -hmm. I you can already tell like what they're saying. So I listen to them and I just like hear like the harmonies and like the very calm music and like it honestly calms me down because like i i feel that like bts is like, a safe place for me yeah and i feel like they've been like that for a lot of people so like that's a lot of a reason why i continue to stay like within the bts army because you know there are negative sides of every artist every fandom but like with bts i've found nothing but comfort as like with somebody that struggles like with anxiety and like especially with this generation like this new youth that's coming in mm -hmm. with like higher right higher rates of depression of anxiety and suicide yeah. and it's like it's so amazing to see like today's youth like generation z millennials or like any other generation to really like focus on with bcs and like have the expression of like loving yourself and speaking yourself and really like knowing who you are and like being proud of it so, and, and yeah did it also because i think you <laughs> truthfully connect those two things because you you connect the uh generation that is struggling with this mm -hmm. and and with the journey that bts takes everybody on and that is the journey of self love actually and and being who you are and being proud of who you are yeah. you connect that so well with with that can it? Can you say that uh, um, BTS also made it that you would have less episode, less anxiety attacks? Oh yes, I would, because um, when I would have arguments like with my family or just things that would like trigger my anxiety, like you could feel like an attack like starting to come on, but like I would just like put on my my headphones or like my AirPods and just like listen to bts and like it would stop like everything oh, wow. like it would stop everything because like you can take like um breathing exercises like to try to i can do them to try to calm myself down mm -hmm. but like it doesn't necessarily like help automatically like you need to do it for like quite a while to really like calm yourself down but like when i hear bts it just like calms me like automatically because like i know that I genuinely enjoy listening to them and they do bring me comfort in like that sense. So I honestly like, I they've stopped like a lot. Like mm -hmm. they've stopped a lot of future attacks from happening. And what you like, I love the way that you describe that because you say yeah. with a breathing exercise, it still takes a lot of work from you yourself because you have to do all the work. And with BTS, they do the work for you because it's their music. If you put it on, it automatically transports you to that happy place or to that soothing place or calming place. And then you can then. Yeah, yeah. I think that is beautiful. Yeah, no. Yeah, definitely. Like it's like it does. It does take a lot like with breathing exercises, because like I told you, like I have to really like be in my room, like turn off the lights, like calm myself down. And like I live in a very like rowdy house like with my parents and my and my siblings so it's very hard to find a place that's just quiet mm. like quiet to myself and quiet so i can calm down yeah and with bts like no matter where i'm at like whether it's super noisy or just super like just crazy like i can literally just put on my headphones and like listen to them and they'll like automatically calm me down because i know that they bring me comfort yeah that is really awesome. And of course, you have that with yeah. BTS. You can have that with any kind of music or any artist that can do that for you. But I think what helps at least your generation, as well as it does to us, but we've, I think we've already been through that self-acceptation, self-love, mm -hmm. love yourself era of our, um, of our growing up. And I also, I also recognize that from 
my generation, because it's a different than yours. Yeah. The so the millennials are very uh, known to be very uh, uh, susceptible to burnout, mm -hmm. and that's also a part of like. Or never, never doing enough, or always have to be more, doing more, and then you lose yourself, and then you end up burn out. Yeah, and it's also a big yeah. issue, and I think yeah. it's also kind of similar in that, in yeah. that way. Yeah, and but it's a loving yourself yeah. era part. That if you don't get help with that, if you are not taught in school, if you don't have parents or friends that will help you explore that, then BTS is one of the artists out there and I think one of the biggest artists out artist groups out there that will help you because that's what they do yeah that is in every work they make in every song they write that's they even the say it literally like I am saying like use me and, yeah, yeah. love yourself so what for yeah. you would be the the message that that helped you the most or the, or one of the songs or lyrics that helped you um, yeah um, I know that when I was like uh, sad a lot, like particularly, like it wasn't any like particular like fight or argument or like specific instance, but like I noticed that when I am like just I'm feeling down, I listen to Magic Shop a lot mm -hmm. because like it was written by Jungkook and he wrote it to armies and like his message, like just that comforting, like I'm there for you and we know that you're there for me, like it just like. It, it comforts me because like although like it sounds it sounds like um almost weird but like i'm i know armies will know that like when you just listen to bts like it does feel like they are there for you even though you can't see them you can't talk to them like you know that within their messages they're being sincere and like there was never a specific like speech that you know like because BTS have always like mentioned armies at award shows. Every award that they get, they always like army always comes out of their mouth, which is like you're so grateful for artists that truly love their fans. Mm -hmm, yeah. But like when I when I did hear the United Nations speech and ARM talk like uh was telling us about how like it was hard for him like growing up in a small town, like growing up like, you know, with not a bad background, but like just like a background like everybody else. Like, he was normal like everybody else. And he grew up and he just, like, he continued to read about about problems that are happening, like, to us today. Like, to the youth today, to other generations today. And, like, he continues to prove to us that he learns and he matures about things like that. It's like, same thing with BTS. And how they truly, like, believe that everybody should be themselves and be proud of who you are. Whether, like whether it's your sexual like identity mm. whether it's your skin color whether it's like anything like le legitimately anything mm. like you have to be proud of who you are for your past mistakes or for how you're still going to grow in the future like no matter what age yeah and like they constantly talk about that and i know that they all feel the same way it's the, you know that rm talks like more because of like he has the leader role which is, i know is a lot of pressure but like i know bts have said like individually that they feel the same way and they feel that when they're in concerts, like they can really connect to their fans with messages like that. Hmm. And that that like definitely comes out in their music because their music is always positive. Like you do have the upbeat songs that you're you know you vibe to, hmm. but like the majority of their songs, they always like in the end they always come together and they always have that message of like loving yourself and being yourself and being proud of who you are because they're proud of who they are and they're proud of who they are because of army. And they know that ARMY is part of who they are because of BTS. So like yeah. it all coincides. And like I really like, I really like that about them, you know? Yeah. Because that's- <laughs> I'm sorry uh, I'm rambling. No, no, no uh, we love it. This uh, is your uh, interview. Beautiful. No, but I also think that about them. Uh, we haven't heard everything from them yet, all their songs. But what we feel now is they went through this journey just like anybody else. And that is why it's so relatable because they share their journey in the most vulnerable way possible mm. through their songs, through their speeches, through whatever they do. And that is also why I think you can feel so connected to this group. In a way. Yeah. yeah. Like, I've introduced um because my sisters have actually been into like K pop and K dramas since like back in twenty oh nine. That was when I originally heard of K pop, like back in elementary school. 
but when i got into bts like solely on my own i remember like when again the united nations speech came out like i showed my mom and i showed like my dad and they're all, they're from a different generation a generation but like they watched the speech and they loved their message mm. and like and you know like my parents see me like you know fangirling over them you're they're like oh they're bts but like we've legitimately had talks where my parents like acknowledge that their message is good mm. and i'm not saying that all artists nowadays are bad because you have a lot of good artists but like a lot of the music nowadays it's structured towards like like you know like the language or like mm-hmm. and you know it's good but like sometimes you want to drift away from that and have a yeah. message in music mm-hmm. that like how rm says like transcends languages yeah, yeah like have a message in music where you just like connect with it and like even my parents who are older than me than my siblings have listen to bts's message and their songs and have really told me like this is good like this is good like this mm-hmm. reminds us of like old time like with those good messages and they listen to them and they genuinely feel connected even as an older generation yeah and um, if because i'm very curious you said already mentioned magic shop but what is the go-to song when you feel uh, an anxiety attack coming up in your body and you think okay now i have to listen to bts is there one song or that you go to um magic shop is a go-to but i feel that um it's very hard to pick a favorite bts song it's very hard but my favorite bts song is let go uh their japanese single i like it because when i'm very close to my sister my oldest sister uh she moved away because she got married and she has she already has a husband she's been gone for like two years But when she moved away, like, it was really hard for me. Mm. And, like, you know, like, I cried endlessly, like, all day, like, just sobbing because she was my everything. And basically, oh, I'm trying not to cry. Mm. But basically, like, when I heard um, that she was getting married and she was moving away, I listened to the English lyrics of Let Go. And I I told her that I dedicated it to her when she got married. Oh, my God, this came out wrong. I my, I worked so hard on my makeup, <laughs> but, but I like I told her like you know you're getting married you're moving on like I'm about to graduate like I'm already gonna be older like like we're 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 all gonna live our own lives so I told her like I'm gonna dedicate let go to you so like when I'm feeling like down I listen to that song and I, I remember her and how much she would like sit down with me and like calm me down. <laughs> I don't know why I'm crying. But legit, like I told her, like, like you know, like I love you so much, and like I dedicate the song to you. So again, like every time I hear that song or like listen to the lyrics, like it just makes me cry. Mm, mm. And like that song, like, like you can always depend on BTS for the best lyrics, the best messages. And even though, like, I felt that um, BTS were making let go, like, in a hard time in their life. Mm. Like and I, I think armies did say that they were dedicating it to armies. Like I heard it and I automatically could relate it to my own life. Yeah. And my own like problems. So like when I dedicated that to my sister, like it just like it made it seem that like BTS is a part of my life. Mm-hmm. So like yeah, as of now, like I see that Let Go and Magic Shop are like two of my number one. Awesome. And we always ask yeah. because we we're nearing the end yes, of this man. interview. Uh, um, what if you could say something to BTS, to them as a group, or to one of the members? What would that be? Do you know? Um. Oh, what oh, like, like let me bring out my like Bible of list. Um, <laughs> I just want to say that like, like I. I like love them again for them. I've been constantly saying it, but their messages is what truly captures people to stay in the army. Like their messages, their songs, their their lyrics, like just who they are. They're so real to themselves, and they're real on camera. And they're they're funny. They can be sad. They can be happy. Like. But they share that with us. Those like really precious moments where artists can just like push the people away and be like, "I want to be with myself," 
no like they show us that they're growing as people mm-hmm. and that we can grow as people and they're proud of who they are yeah. however they're gonna like whether they're gonna just like come out in the future like they're gonna get married they're gonna move on with their lives like we have that piece of them like we're legitimately living through their history and we're watching them grow with us and they're watching mm-hmm. us grow so it's like i just i just want to say like thank you because like they like just endless amounts of thank you because they've helped me they've oh my god <laughs> they've helped me so much I know they've helped so many armies of all ages, all skin colors, any type of sexual identity. Like, like they just helped us. Mm. And like, it's just saying thank you because they know they know what they're doing. But it's until a fan really tells them, like, yeah. you really are helping me. Yeah. And it's like I just want to say thank you for myself, and I know from a lot of people, like, just to thank them for what they've done for us. Wow, that is awesome, and we want to thank you for being yeah oh, for you. being. I love meeting people from our our channel, and you are another example of a beautiful pu- person. Yes, and thank you so much. No, it's it's true. You are so I don't know. I just get and I'm very sorry that we made you cry. <laughs> no, yeah, no, she did that herself. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> No, but you're you're beautiful, and and your story is beautiful, and your personality, it just yeah, really your just, energy you, is amazing. Also, you told it so well. You, this was yeah, oh, very understandable, very yeah. relatable. It's, pa- it's yeah, so powerful. Amazing. So thank you so much yeah. for doing this interview video with us. If you can wave thank goodbye you. at our at our viewers. Bye. <laughs> Subscribe. Ring the bell. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I always say there you have it. Yeah. But this is another <laughs> example of how we love doing these interviews. Mary is such a beautiful person and her story is so, I think, recognizable or so people can relate to this because this is a mm-hmm. generation that is going through uh, a whole different thing that than at least my generation did. Yeah. And I think it's Definitely. awesome that she shared this with us. So Mary, mwah, thank you for sharing. If you guys like this video, mm-hmm. then please give it a thumbs up. Yay. And <laughs> check out our Patreon, check out our shirts here on the store, and we'll see you very soon for another check interview. Check out the other interviews, of course, as well, yes. because they're all amazing. We'll make a interview playlist, so check it out, right? Yeah. Bye! Bye.